Guys, it is celiac heaven here. Ciao, it's Coliseum day. I'm quite excited. Everything surrounding us right now just looks fictional. Welcome back to the channel for the fifth and final of the travel vlogs. I'm so sad that they are over because I had so much fun. Um, this vlog is a little bit different because we fly out of France into Italy. So this whole vlog all takes place in Rome. We spent over three days there and I loved it. I'd been to Italy before, never to Rome. It truly is celiac heaven. There's so many gluten-free foods everywhere. We also saw the sites. Don't worry, it's not just foods. So I'm excited to show you what all we did. But before we get into it, I want to say a quick thank you and shout out to the sponsor of today's video. I'm really excited about the sponsor because they are new to the channel and I've loved them for a while now. This is Mary Ruth's and I do have a discount code for y'all, but I want to tell you a couple things about them first. I'm very much in my supplement era. I would say I have been for probably over a year now. My degrees in nutrition is so like, I know the benefits of vitamins and minerals and supplementation in general, but I started really, really researching what I like and need and all that sort of thing. And I learned about the benefits of liposomal. And Mary Ruth has so many good liposomal supplements. That basically means it's just more bioavailable so your body absorbs more of it. I'm gonna show you two of my favorites today that I take every single day. One is their vitamin C. Vitamin C does so many things and it's one of the minerals that your body can't make. So um, I am very adamant on taking this every single day. This one is delicious. It is citrus and vanilla. And the thing that I like about these liposomal liquid supplements is you can just take them directly on a spoon and they taste really good like this. Cheers. Oh, this one's so good. It's like a citrus vanilla. Another thing you could do is like put this in drinks or on food and you can make a little mocktail, do this with some juice and some sparkling water, shake it up. And it's just way more fun to take it that way. Another one that I love is this one. It's the turmeric and DHA. Um, I started taking this specifically, if you follow me, you know that I'm working on my joint health. I have pretty unhealthy joints. Turmeric has a ton of benefits. This blend also has things like ginger root oil and the DHA, which is like vegan omega-3s, really good for cognitive health, for blood flow. So these are two things that I love the taste of, orange ginger and citrus vanilla. The tastes go really well together. If you're looking for a certain supplement or vitamin or mineral or whatever that might be, I would check out their website. I also love their magnesium gummies. So many things for them are so good. So my code is M R O Mikel J. So like M R O Mary Ruth Organics Mikel J. That's gonna get you 20% off of your order. I'm gonna have these linked down below. Um, you can shop them on Amazon. Super easy, quick delivery. And let's go ahead and get into the Rome footage. Thanks again to Mary Ruth for sponsoring. Let's fly to Rome. <laughs> from Rome. It's the first morning here. You probably just saw a little montage of us getting in last night. We landed in time to basically just do a little dinner. Guys, it is celiac heaven here. Apparently a large portion of the population here is celiac, like maybe more than 10%. So almost all the restaurants have like a separate gluten-free menu. It's incredible. We went and I got fried zucchini flowers. We got a couple pastas. We got tiramisu. You and I are gonna have a solo adventure morning, which I'm actually super looking forward to. All the family decided to go on a really early tour. Jordy said he'd get some footage of it for y'all so that you can still see it, but basically they're going to Vatican City and the Sistine Chapel, which I wanted to go see, um, but they had to wake up at like 5 a.m. to do that and we got in kinda late last night. And if you guys know me, you know that I'm an autoimmune girly. And so sometimes I have to call an audible to skip out on some things and get enough rest so that I actually feel good enough to continue to hang and explore. Honestly too, if I'm being so for real, I do all the sites and all the tourist things because I feel like I should. And especially when I'm vlogging, that's what y'all wanna see. 
my favorite way to travel is not really to do a lot of that, but is to simply like wander, just to walk around, walk, see the kind of sights on foot, stumble across what you stumble across. So I'm gonna have a morning like that. I do know that there is a fully gluten-free breakfast spot nearby and in route, we pass so many things. This city is just packed with amazing sights from like Jesus times. It is just from before as well, obviously. We're gonna go to the Coliseum tomorrow, so that'll be really fun. So I have a couple things on my list and a couple routes to go walk by on foot to go see some historical things and go get some breakfast and see what we stumble upon. So I'm looking forward to that, I'm about to get ready, but I will show you. I don't know what happened. I did not book this room. I booked a much smaller room, but they gave us a huge two bedroom apartment. I don't know, this is just one of the rooms. I can do a little room tour later maybe, but um, it is also on just such a busy street, super simple. Central. Right now for Christmas, they have all these Christmas lights down the street, which I will show you at nighttime as well. But we're literally above so many different coffee shops, gelato, restaurants, stores. So it's like, even if I didn't want to adventure far, there's still so much I could do on the street. So a little quick fast room tour here. Bathroom, one of the bedrooms, back this way. We seriously didn't even see the second bedroom for, for a minute because I did not book a two bedroom. We were like, what is happening? Another bathroom. And this has turned into a giant closet room, which is nice to kind of keep stuff out of the way. Back this way, we have a full kitchen, pretty much. You know, stove top, there's a fridge down there, which is super handy. And a view out into, I think some sort of restaurant, oh yeah, it is breakfast. No one was, oh, there's a whole buffet. Do you see the buffet? Okay, all dressed, all ready to go before 10 a.m. Pretty good. Here is where we're going. It's only an eight minute, 10 minute-ish walk from me. It's called Pandali. And then it is such a quick walk. It's literally down the street from the Pantheon and then Piazza Novana. And then I'm gonna cut over this way and walk to see the Trevi Fountain. Last night, we <laughs> started watching the Liz Way movie. So I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. We should totally go see that too. Focaccia sandwiches on the way, but I got the last piece of carrot cake, cappuccino, and some cookies to take home. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited to give it a try. Okay, the sandwich has come out. It is quite hot, so I'm gonna wait a second to eat it, but it's focaccia with prosciutto and mozzarella. Oh my. I don't think I can wait, actually. Let's do a bite test. the street over this way just to see because I saw this was an observation deck. I want to try to figure out what year this is from but this is just in the middle of the city. So here's what it looked like. Some of these things were discovered as recently as 2013 and some of these structures are from 181 BC to 41 BCE as different temples and I guess they just keep finding things which is pretty awesome. And here is the Pantheon. We walked by this last night, but I wanted to see it in the day. Actually, night was pretty cool and a lot less busy because it wasn't open. I don't think, I don't think the doors were open. And it's in this little plaza. This is the view right here. Cause you can't see everybody's heads above the fountain. Wow. Stop, Chevy Fountain. And we're walking down so many beautiful different little alleyways everywhere we go. This is what's so crazy about Rome is like just in the middle of your walk for something else really cool, you pass here, it's a temple. There's like a moat around it. Wow.
telling me that I'm supposed to believe that Liz McGuire was in eighth grade and came here all by herself? Is that what I'm supposed to believe? I'm not buying a Disney. Okay, leaving the Trevi Fountain. Now, I've seen all the things super close that I kind of wanted to see. My belly's full. Um, everybody's still at the Vatican and I don't know how long they're gonna be there. It's not super close, it's like an hour walk away. But I think what I'm gonna do is just like leisurely wander in that direction and if I get there when they're still exploring then I think I have a ticket so I could probably go in and if not then I'll just continue to do my own thing. Maybe I'll make it all the way there, maybe I won't, I don't know. But if we're gonna wander around and walk which is my favorite thing, I might as well do it in that direction. So that's what we're doing, just gonna walk around. Like, for example, when you walk someplace with no agenda, you can find shortcuts through beautiful galleries. I don't exactly know what this is, but it's all decked out for Christmas. Based on all the signs everywhere, it looks like it's a mall that's going to be opening eventually. The building looks quite old though, so I don't know if they're currently renovating it to be a mall, but there's a big old Christmas tree back there. Kind of pretty. Oh yeah, we also walked past this last night as well. And every single little tier has such detail all the way up it. I've definitely stumbled upon like a nice shopping area over here. There's even an Aesop, so I got some free lotion. Uh, Aesop is everywhere. I, when I went to Korea, had, didn't want to convert all my money back, so I spent it all at Aesop in the airport. I love that they're everywhere. But I think I'm gonna kill time in this area because the family's deciding where they want to get lunch, and so I will then make my way there. Oh. Do you see that? Please tell me you see that. The headless man with the glasses? Okay, great. Making sure you see that. Let's go this way. Stumbled across a beautiful silver flower Christmas tree in this plaza. This is kind of similar to the plaza in Paris that we found that was all decked out for Christmas and then like surrounded by the nicest shops. Seems to just be a theme in every major city. About to cross over the water to get to the other side to meet everybody. And this honestly kind of reminds me of Paris and Austin, and Nashville. We love big cities that have water running right through the middle of it. So pretty. The water's a lot cleaner here than Paris, so I'll say that. <laughs> Everybody kind of parted ways after lunch. We just have been back doing work. I edited some things from Paris and then we got a text. Everyone was like, you know what? We are all wiped from waking up so early, which I did not. And they all just wanted kind of a night end to recharge. So I, with my sneaky little ways, started researching restaurants in the area, of course. And I found a really great looking restaurant called Adelaide that um, still had reservations tonight. I actually think that they also have been awarded one Michelin star. We figured what's one, when in Rome, you know, one more nice dinner while we're out. It's my favorite. That's how I love to experience new cultures is eating out and trying their food. So this is Italian, kind of modern Italian cuisine. Um, and my absolute favorite hobby. So we are getting ready to walk there for dinner. I will bring y'all along. I will get some clips. And tomorrow is the big Coliseum day. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm going as well. Um, I know initially when my sister-in-law to be planned the whole trip, when she was planning it, she initially was going to plan like a special guided tour for all the guys. And then we were gonna do something else, but I don't know if that's changed because I think that we're all doing the same one but I didn't plan this, I didn't book this. I'm just pretty sure that's what we're doing. And tomorrow is our last full day, which is just absolutely crazy. Well, everybody else leaves the following day. We then go stay at an airport hotel to be closer to the airport because we have a early flight on New Year's Eve. I know that these videos are coming out like far into January, but we're still in December at the time of recording this. I'm all ready with my non-style hair, just threw it in a ponytail, calling it good to go. Let's go back to dinner. <laughs>
quite excited. Also, I've been making Americanos every morning because all the spots we've been staying at only have tiny little espresso shot pods. So I've also been using the kettle to make an Americano. Um, but last night dinner was so fun, so good. I cannot believe we just kind of like lucked into that spot the same day that they had reservations. It was tucked away in the cutest little hotel down an alley and um, they were able to make every Thing gluten free. They had their own pasta, like several types of pastas, and would just bring out the dishes with special noodles. So that was really fun. Um, obviously, today we are doing girls versus guys tour. So I'm so glad I am for sure going <laughs> that we have tickets for us girls. I know us girls are doing something different, but we're just doing different tours of the Coliseum. So the guys are doing, I think, like the gladiator tour, and then we are doing a private group. Um, it's like a skip the line. So I guess you enter with a tour guide, kind of like we did at the Louvre, and so you skip lines. And then TBD, what this afternoon looks like, this is the last day of all of the extended family being here. We have one more day after that, but we check out of this Sonder tomorrow, and we go towards the airport. The airport's like 30 minutes out of town. There's a little town on the water, and I found a couple things for us to do there. This really incredible like bathhouse spa situation. Um, you can enter for, we're going to go 30 or 40 euros per person and spend all day there. So I got us entrances to that. Um, and then there's also a Bib Gourmand restaurant, which is like when Michelin awards the food there, but the food is super affordable. In the U.S., it's where you can get like a whole like first course, second course, glass of wine, all these things are under $40. I don't know what the standards are here with the euros, but maybe we'll try that. They seem to have lots of last minute reservations as well because it's a casual restaurant. So that's kind of like what's on tap, but caffeine first. When I get ready, I'm gonna switch out the battery to this camera. We're gonna go see the Coliseum. We're currently en route walking to the Coliseum, but like everything surrounding us right now just looks fictional. All these ruins, that, walking through this little park. Look at the way that that building right up here just like turns into hillside and then like straight drops down and all the ruins between here and there. That's pretty cool. And we've made it. I think I'm meeting the girls around the backside and Jordy and I are parting ways, but wow. It's a lot bigger in person. I mean, it seats what, like 50,000 people or something crazy? Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Let's go learn the history. Pulling up the full vlog cam so I can talk to y'all while we look at this together. This is where they buried Julius Caesar. And Mallory was just telling me that they rarely buried people from that time. Mostly it was cremated, but we're gonna go see. Thank you. Oh, wow. So that's where the tomb is. And then here's what it looks out over. It is quite crowded, not gonna lie, but we're just surrounded in ruins. We're entering the Colosseum and we're brought over here because it's the last little bit of decoration that used to be inside the arches, but it used to be like super detailed and exquisite through every single arch throughout. So that's the last little bit you can still see. Okay, we finally made it to the Colosseum and it is very crowded. So you have to like wait your turn to see over the ledge, at least over here in this balcony, but Look at how they built the platform halfway so you could still see all of those ruins underneath it right there. It's pretty cool. They had an elevator system too that they would have the gladiators and the animals under the center and they would actually raise it a couple stories into the center of the ring. So there used to be four levels and like the bottom one was the important royal people and then two levels of men and then the fourth level was for women. But it was free for everybody to come and see which I did not know. So now we're super close to the underground level that you can see where they would keep all the animals and all the props and all the, they would build like um, different terrains for the animals to come out of. I look as tired as I feel. <laughs> we are leaving the Coliseum, off to lunch. Do you think it's still true? She said more people died building it for the game. So then she said half a million people died. So does that mean over 250,000 people died? building it? Yeah, it's quite possible, but she said because they fell yeah. off the Because they would fall off the scaffolding, but they built it all in five years. Yeah. Wrapped up a little casual lunch. I got pesto risotto, and I'm feeling 
very carby. And we're gonna go to the Spanish Steps. Look at this park. Um, but that's an area that is just something good to see. And apparently it's like kind of the nicer shops. So, <laughs> thanks. I'm gonna go shop around that area. this little flower market. Ooh, what'd you find? Ranunculus. <gasps> Orange ranunculus. Yeah. So pretty. I love the tulips. Can you like build your own bouquet tulips. with the greenery? Is that what they do? Maybe. They're so pretty. We found one outlet store with like actually pretty good pricing. And this says made in Italy, like on the tag, but it's another beige sweater, which I have several of. Saying I wish I could be the type of person that wore jackets like this, but this is outlet discount designer and it's still way too much money. Even for, what is it, 70% off? <laughs> it's pretty fun though. All right, where are we? We are in a cafe mm -hmm. called Canova, oh man, Tadellini. Okay. Which is um, a cafe in the same spot of the workshop of the artist Canova, mm -hmm. who was a neoclassical artist. So, you know, you have Renaissance and then you have Baroque and then mm -hmm. you have neoclassical, which okay. is kind of like the throwback to the Renaissance-y looking. Um, and so yeah. in here you have casts of all of his sculptures. So they're not the exact sculptures, but they're the size and proportion that they would have been. They're marble. and Everything he did Up was here. like very white, very clean and pure. Mm -hmm. The most famous, he did two of them identical, Cupid and Psyche. And mm -hmm. that's my favorite one. There's one in the Louvre and I think there's one in Rome somewhere. And this wow. Is and he made them all in this building? This was like his actual workshop? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if all, but like, yeah, he made them. And he thought there. they were all white and he didn't know that they were painted. Yes, wow. because the real classical ones were painted. Um, with different dyes, like almost like costume. But they just worn off. But yeah, they wore off over time. They're it's like dyed from berries and you know juice yeah. and like what of natural dyes. And now it's a restaurant. It's pretty yeah. cool. Thanks for the history. <laughs> <laughs> Get you a drink. Good morning. It's our last day in Rome. We're all packed up, about to check out of this Sonder and head towards. We're just staying at the airport hotel but as i've mentioned in that area is like the really cool hotel with the really nice spa with the entry i also found out that your entry includes like drinks and appetizers for free which makes the 40 euros for all day spa access seem even better because we can skip dinner we're going to check out of here uber that way drop our bags at the hotel and then go to the seafood restaurant um which i should probably i should probably find the name of it for y'all because that's helpful quarantuno do DC. There you go. <laughs> All right, we got some oysters and some grilled octopus, and they brought me out gluten-free bread, which is so sweet. And here's the view from here. It's right on the marina, right on the boats. Very fresh seafood. So far, highly recommend. Oh, I'm full. I'm tired. It was great. Um, quite a language barrier, so we didn't really know what we ordered. They actually wrote down like the fish of the day in this book by hand um, and it was all in Italian, of course. And so we were like, I don't know what these things are, but they put numbers for the allergens next to each one. So we just ordered whatever didn't have the one next to it because the one was gluten. It's all a surprise. Uh, the tuna ham was very interesting. It was covered in pistachios and it was like cured like a ham. Um, so that was fun. I actually think that the risotto was my favorite and it was prawn and I'm not usually a fan of prawn, but now we have called a taxi, which here it's really nice. The taxi service is all through Uber. So you get an actual taxi through Uber. Normally it's cheaper. And it's weird, they don't ask you to tip the taxi on the Uber app. Anyways, gonna go Uber on over to QC. Oh, also remember how I was trying to pronounce the name of this earlier? It stands for 4112, which is the number of the place. Just in Italian. It's just those numbers in Italian. Makes me feel silly, but. Um, off to the hotel, which is called QC Termarona. Wow, we're here at this beautiful little resort in the middle of nowhere. There's a, a wellness farm somewhere over here, but I'm sure the front desk is in here and we could ask. Thinking of 
thousand miles between us now I ended the footage on that spa. Um, I didn't really feel great getting too many clips. I just kind of felt like it was weird to film too much there. But guys, if you go visit, it's right by the airport. So I had a lot of people DM me and say that they stayed there their last night or two and then super easy flight the next morning. Wish we did that. But I would highly recommend, I think I mentioned it is 44 euros for entry. And I did not realize how expansive the buffet was gonna be. A lot of bread. A lot of bread, definitely a lot easier to eat there if you um, are not gluten-free. I made a dinner out of meats and cheeses and fruits and olives, and they give you two drinks per person, mocktails or alcoholic, and like it was just a whole bigger experience than I was expecting for the price point. That was a great way to end the trip, and then we had literally a 24-hour travel day back home. Um, yesterday was our first day back home and I'm still feeling the jet lag. So if I feel a little bit off right now, now you know why. I wanna say thanks again one more time to Mary Ruth Organics for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna have my code and my link and all the information in the description box down below. Honestly, maybe I should do a more in-depth video at some point recommending all the supplements I like because I like so many from them. And there's so many more that I haven't even tried yet. So I'm gonna keep exploring their website myself. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you back in California because clearly I'm back home very soon. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night.